What's up guys? This is Corey and welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today is Monday. Welcome to this week's episode of Old Favorites Monday. Today's review was a very requested movie that is both very rare and quite frankly very good and that is Spider Baby. Now before I get into an actual review of this movie, let me give you a little background history of this film. Originally made in 1964, its original title was Cannibal Orgy, or The Maddest Story Ever Told. And due to the production company going bankrupt, due to the production company going bankrupt, they more or less uh, didn't distribute the movie until 1968. And at that point, you know, it really didn't pick up any. I mean, it had a couple of titles here and there, depending, it uh, originally started in different like drive-ins and you know it depended on depending on the drive-in uh, sometimes it was titled spider baby other times it was titled the liver eaters depending on which movie was playing and so after that it pretty much went underground uh, nobody heard from it seen it it wasn't on dvd vhs nothing and until about 1997, 98, maybe 99, someone found a complete negative of the film. And so with that, they basically put this film on DVD, you know, with using the full negative, which up to that point was completely unheard of. I mean, you know, this film was considered to be lost forever and someone found it, and now we have it. And so, with that, I mean, this movie is very rare. I, not so much today, but it was at one point, and that's what makes, that's one of the things that makes this movie just really cool. So, let me actually get into what this movie's about, and who's in it, and all that. Uh, start, the film starred, most notably, the legendary horror movie actor and icon, uh, Lon Chaney Jr., who plays the, uh, he's much older, this is one of his later films, uh, before he passed away, and this movie, he's a caretaker of these two little girls and a mentally handicapped guy played by Sid Haig. Sid Haig, you may recognize from the House of a Thousand Corpses or The Devil's Rejects, he plays the guy who's in the clown makeup. Never seen those movies, but uh, he's most, most notable in those films, most recognizable in those films. But yeah, um, you know, the film stars Lon Chaney Jr., he's a caretaker for these two girls. They are, they, all, all these girls, and I think even the mentally handicapped guy, have this disease called, it's called like Mary Syndrome or something, and pretty much what that does is it causes the child at the age of 10 to regress in age as they get older. And this is taken on in a mental state, not physical state. And so um, the Lon Chaney Jr. is taking care of these two girls and this mentally handicapped guy, played by Sid Haig, and a couple of relatives come to this house and they want to take care of the two girls. and. Pretty much, you know, they stay for the stay for the night, trying to get uh, to get to know these girls and everything. And strange things happen. I don't want to go into what that is. I don't want to spoil anything because this is really one one of those films that it's better to go into this film not knowing a whole lot of what to expect. So what I've told you is about as much as you would want to know before you go into this movie. Pretty much, the the uh, the girls in this movie are pretty twisted. Uh, I don't want to again. I don't want to spoil anything, but they are darker than you would imagine. And so, you know, it's kind of a really cool. It's a really darkly funny. It's kind of a dark comedy mixed with uh, '60s horror and all of that. And it's just a really good film. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of great acting, great editing. The film was directed by Jack Hill, whose other works include The Big Dollhouse, 
The Big Bird Cage, Coffee, and Foxy Brown, among many other films. And, you know, he really started making films around the 60s. He's written several films, including Dementia 13. And this movie is truly... It's a must-see for horror movie fans, especially if you really get into these uh, older horror movies from, like, the 60s and beyond, you know, 50s, all that. It's truly a great film. It's truly one that I highly recommend. If you ever get a chance to watch it, please do, because this is a true gem of a film. And I'm going to give Spider Baby an 8.3 out of 10. So tell me guys, have you heard of this film? You probably haven't, but if you have, have you seen it? And if you have seen it, what do you think of it? If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, do you want to see it? Comment below and let me know. If you like this review, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.